Today's Morning Minute, abundance. What is in your heart will determine what comes out of your mouth. What are you speaking? We read in Luke chapter 6, verse 45, A good man out of the good treasure of his heart bringeth forth that which is good, and an evil man out of the evil treasure of his heart bringeth forth that which is evil. For the abundance of the heart his mouth speaks. Let me say it again. For the abundance of the heart his mouth speaks. Luke 6, verse 45. And in Matthew 12, verse 34, we read, You brood of snakes, how could evil men like you speak what is good and upright? For whatever is in your heart determines what you say. Let me say that again. For whatever is in your heart determines what you say. Matthew 12, verse 34. Are you speaking unbelief? Are you speaking death? Are you speaking curses? When you whine, blame, complain, and grumble, you're cursing. Are you speaking faith? Are you speaking life? Are you speaking blessings? What comes out of your mouth will be the abundance of your heart, which is determined by what you are feeding your mind and heart. What are you putting into your mind? What are you watching, reading, and listening to? This will determine what you say, which will be an abundance of faith or unbelief, blessings or curses, life or death. How much time do you spend watching television or browsing the internet versus reading, listening to, and studying God's Word? How much time are you spending in recreation, pleasure, and vanity versus growing in the abundance of the knowledge of God? Jesus told his disciples that it was their unbelief which caused them not to be able to cast out the demon. Your unbelief is fed by the world system of lusts and pleasures. And until you crave God's word more than you crave this world and the lust for things and selfish ambition, you will suffer defeat. Jesus came to deliver you from sin, death, and sickness. He has healed you, redeemed you, and given you victory over this world. You've been set free and no longer a prisoner in bondage to the ways of this world. Seek first God's kingdom and his righteousness through knowing his love, his love, mercy, and grace for you. You will experience freedom, victory, and peace and joy in Christ Jesus. Jesus came to give you the abundant life, which is an overflow of your heart surrendered in Christ Jesus. You are the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. Amen and amen.